and it's going to break down the Chinese system of trade, and he can't do that. So when you say, do you think they want to, maybe they want to and maybe they don't, but I think they want to make a deal. I'm not sure they have a choice. And I don't say that as a threat. I don't think they have a choice. In the meantime, the United States, which has never collected 10 cents from China, will, in a fairly short period of time, be over $100 billion in tariffs. So I think they want to make a deal, very badly, meaning 18 sites of big problems. I think that Iran is a country of tremendous potential. We're not looking for leadership change. We're not looking for that kind of change. This country has been through that many times before. That doesn't work. We're looking for no nuclear weapons, no ballistic missiles, and a longer period of time. Very simple. We can have it done in a very short period of time. And I really believe that Iran can be a great nation. I'd like to see that happen. But they can't have nuclear weapons. They have to be good players. You understand what that means? And they can't do what they were saying they're going to do, because if they do that, they're going to be met with really very violent force. We have no choice. Positive meeting. Prime Minister Abiy in terms of compensation is they are out of money. And they meet, may need a short-term letter of credit or loan. No, we're not paying. We don't pay. But they may need some money to get them over a very rough patch. So we're really talking about a uh, letter of credit type from, facility. From the U.S. or from uh, all the it, countries? It would be oh. from numerous countries. In numerous countries. And it comes back. It would be, it would expire. It would be paid back. In a lot of people say having Russia, which is a power, uh, having them inside the room is better than having them outside the room. By the way, there were numerous people during the G7 that felt that way. And we didn't take a vote or anything, but we did discuss it. My inclination is to say, yes, they should be in the world. And I'm thinking about this country in terms of those are tough circumstances. He was a part of G8 and all of a sudden he's not out or he's not in. So I think, John, actually, that's a pretty tough thing for him. You know, he's a proud person. Would I invite him? I would certainly invite him. Whether or not he could come psychologically, I think that's a tough thing for him to do. Of you, of everybody. But just... What we have also is Miami. And we have many hundreds of acres. We have a series of magnificent buildings. We call them bungalows. They each hold from 50 to 70 very luxurious rooms. From my standpoint, I'm not going to make any money, in my opinion. And we'll show. Uh, but uh, I think it's just a great place to be. I think having it in Miami is fantastic. Et au fond, on a deux choses très claires auxquelles nous tenons. L'Iran ne doit jamais avoir l'arme nucléaire, et cette situation ne doit pas menacer la stabilité de la région. Et puis ce matin, le président Rouhani a clairement dit qu'il était prêt à, à, à rencontrer tout responsable politique si c'est dans l'intérêt de son pays. Ce que j'ai dit au ministre Zarif et ce que j'ai dit par téléphone au président Rouhani, c'est que s'il acceptait une rencontre avec le président Trump, ma conviction est qu'un accord peut être trouvé. On en connaît les termes, les objectifs, mais il faut maintenant se mettre autour de la table et y arriver. Et donc je souhaite que dans les prochaines semaines, sur la base de ces échanges, nous puissions réussir à avoir un entretien au sommet entre le président Rouhani et le président Trump. Les discussions les plus productives et les... Nous avons créé les conditions de cette rencontre et donc d'un accord. Je suis toujours très prudent, il faut être très humble, mais je pense que c'est en tout cas quelque chose qui stoppe toute escalade et qui permet d'arriver aux objectifs que nous poursuivons. Et je... Good afternoon. Uh, I, I do think that the... Uh... EU does tend to come to an agreement uh, right at the end. That's what I've noticed in my own uh, observation of, of Brussels uh, negotiations. Um, clearly, for us, the walking away, as it were, would come at the, uh, uh, on October the 31st when we would uh, take steps to come out on the, on the terms uh, for which we will have by then made absolutely uh, colossal and extensive and fantastic uh, preparations, as you, as you know. Uh, is, is there a top of the list somewhere? Uh, it will be, it will, will be difficult. There are, there's a substantial uh, disagreement, 
But my job is to make our case, and you know what our case is. Uh, the, the backstop is, uh, is anti-democratic. It keeps the UK locked in uh, the, the EU's uh, customs arrangement. It keeps the, us locked in, the, in the, the legal order of the EU without any ability to influence those things. It's got to come out. It's got to change. I've made that point very, very clearly to our friends. I really think that that point has now landed. So let's see where we get. We have zu Iran ja bereits äh, gesprochen, das, äh, das, was uns eint, und das ist ein großer Schritt vorwärts, dass wir nicht nur nicht wollen, dass der Iran nukleare Bewaffnung hat, sondern dass wir auch auf politischem Wege die äh, Lösung dafür äh, hinbekommen. Das kann ich im Augenblick nicht sagen. Es gibt sozusagen ähm, hier eine Atmosphäre, in der Gespräche begrüßt werden, in der auch ausdrücklich Gespräche der Europäer mit dem Iran und in besonderer Weise Frankreichs mit dem Iran begrüßt werden. Das geschieht in Koordinierung mit den Vereinigten Staaten von Amerika und das ist schon eine Menge. Was dabei herauskommt, welche Möglichkeiten sich da eröffnen, das kann man heute nicht sagen. Aber ähm, der feste Wille, zu sprechen ist schon mal ein großer Fortschritt. We also talked a lot about the climate crisis at this summit. People around the world are shocked and devastated to see the Amazon engulfed in flames. Minister Freeland has reached out to her counterparts in Brazil and Bolivia, and our government has been in touch with the Brazilian government to offer our support and to put an end to this crisis. Today, Alongside other G7 countries, Canada is stepping up to fight the fires in the Amazon. Canada is offering to help by sending water bombers, as well as a financial contribution of $15 million. Issues facing the world, but Donald Tusk